Good day, kids. Today, we are going to learn about addition and subtraction of time in days and hours. Are you ready? Let's sing first. First, let's identify the two keywords. We have some and difference. When we say some, this is the answer in addition and we use plus sign. And then when we say difference, this is the answer in subtraction and then we use minus sign. Always remember that one day is equal to 24 hours. Addition of time. Find the sum of 3 days, 5 hours, and 2 days, 6 hours. For our solution, we are going to write the two units, days and hours. Then let's write 3 days, 5 hours, and 2 days, 6 hours. When we say sum, we are going to add. Let's write the add sign. Then let's add. First, we are going to add the hours. 5 plus 6 equals 11. Next is, we are going to add the days. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So, our final answer will be 5 days, 11 hours. For a second example, find the sum of 6 days, 10 hours, and 3 days, 11 hours. For our solution, let's write the two units, days and hours. Then let's write 6 days, 10 hours, and 3 days, 11 hours, and the add sign. First is we are going to add the hours. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Next is the days. 6 plus 3 equals 9. For our final answer, we have 9 days, 21 hours. Next example. Find the sum of 2 days, 14 hours and 2 days, 12 hours. Let's solve. Write the two units, day and hour. The first time given, we have 2 days and 14 hours. And then the second time given, we have 2 days and 12 hours. Since it is sum, we are going to use plus symbol. So let's solve the R first. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And then the day we have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Remember that 24 hours is equal to 1 day. Since 26 is greater than 24 hours, we need to convert it into how many day and how many hours so how to solve that write the unit hours and then put the 26 and then minus the 24 hours is equal to blank 
6 minus 4 is equal to 2, and then 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So 24 represent as one day, and then these two represent as hours. So let's put or, and then again, 26 minus 24 is equal to 2, and then the one day plus 4 days is equal to 5 days. So the final answer will be 5 days and 2 hours. Last example in addition. Find the sum of 4 days, 12 hours, and 2 days, 15 hours. So let's solve. Again, don't forget to write the unit day and hour. The first time given, we have 4 days and 12 hours. The second time given, we have 2 days and 15 hours. So since it is sum, we are going to use plus symbol. So let's solve the hour. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And then the day, we have 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Since 27 is greater than 24 hours, we need to convert it. So, put or 27 minus 24 hours is equal to 3 hours. And then the 1 day will be added into 6 days. So, 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. So, the final answer is 7 days and 3 hours. Subtraction of time. First example in subtraction. Find the difference of 5 days 22 hours and 2 days 10 hours. So let's solve. Write the two units day and hour. The first time given we have 5 days and 22 hours. The second time given we have 2 days and 10 hours. Since it is difference, we are going to use minus sign. So let's solve the R first. 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. The day we have 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So the final answer is 3 days and 12 hours. Next example. Find the difference of 14 days, 23 hours, and 10 days, 15 hours. So let's solve. Write the two unit day and hour. So the first time given, we have 14 days and 23 hours. And then the second time given, we have 10 days and 15 hours. Let's put minus symbol and then solve the hour first. 3 minus 5 can or cannot. The answer is cannot be. So we need to borrow from 2. 2 becomes 1 and then 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Let's move in J. 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So the final answer is 4 days and 8 hours. Find the difference of 4 days, 15 hours, and 1 day, 18 hours. For our solution, let's write the two units, day and hour. Then let's write 4 days, 15 hours. Next is, we have 1 day, 18 hours. Then the minus sign. Have you noticed that the minuin is smaller than the subtrahin? Since the minuin is smaller than the subtrahin, what should we do? We will borrow first from day. In day, we have four days. So, when we will borrow, four become three and how about the one that we borrow from four it will become one day since we are subtracting the hour the one that we borrow from four which is one day we are going to convert it into hours can you still remember in one day we have how many hours yes we have 24 hours 
And then, we are going to add the 24 hours into 15 hours. So, it will become 39. Now, we have 39 hours. Let's subtract. 9 minus 8 equals 1. 3 minus 1 equals 2. Very good. And then, let's subtract the day. 3 minus 1 equals 2. Very good. For our final answer, it will be 2 days, 21 hours. For our next example, find the difference of 7 days, 13 hours, and 2 days, 17 hours. For our solution, let's write again the two units, day and hour. And then let's write 7 days, 13 hours, and 2 days, 17 hours. Then the minus sign. Can you still remember the previous example? Very good. Have you noticed that the menu end is smaller than the subtrahend? What should we do? Yes, we are going to borrow first from day. In day, we have seven days. Now, let's borrow. Let's borrow one from seven. So, seven becomes six. How about the one that we borrow? Yes, we are going to convert it into hours because we are going to subtract the hour. One day is equals to 24 hours. And then, the 24 hours that we borrow, or the one day, we are going to add it into 13. So, it will be... 37. Now, let's subtract. 7 minus 7 equals 0. 3 minus 1 equals 2. And the day, let's subtract the day. 6 minus 2 equals 4. For our final answer, we have 4 days, 20 hours. After watching the video, please answer your worksheet given to you. Keep safe. Goodbye.